All right, Sammy family. Sorry about that. I, now I'm knowing there's got to be a sabotage thing going on because as I'm talking, um, it keeps telling me the battery's low, but I have a full battery and it keeps cutting the computer off. So I don't know if I've been given a virus. You know, I don't know. You never know what they do because things, when you start bringing out truth, these demons, man, they don't want you to know what's going on and they don't want me to wake you up. So you can tell there's a definite, because they watch us, they send codes to everything. They can, they manipulate the internet. This is going to prove our point that this is information that they don't want known or else they wouldn't be trying to stop it so much because they know what they have done to the world and they're not going to tell you this. They want everybody to feel sorry for them and their plight because they're the chosen people of the Bible when realistically speaking, they've been proven to be false by so many different ways and so many different scholars and so many different people. And they're saying that, oh, we're being erased from the Bible when it was never really you in the Bible, it was actually the Bantu people and they know this. That's why they don't, and this, is, and this has to do with this scripture. It says the, they don't, they do not want, this is why they have to make it. That's why they had to come up with the concept that the Messiah never came, that we're waiting on the Messiah. Why? Because when the Messiah shows up, okay, in real life, they have to worship at the feet of the real people. This is the, this is the whole narrative behind why they're doing that. Okay. So the problem is this is, this is why the world, so this is where the plot goes into when the Most High kicked the Bantu people out of their land, which we know now was not in Palestine, because I've shown in the history books that Egypt occupied what is now called Palestine uh, in previous videos, when at the same time, uh, the, the Bantu people or, the, or Yusolele or Israel, as they want to call it, was dealing with the Philistines in the 1200 BC. BC. Okay, so we know um, there's been a uh, agenda to um, erase this knowledge because of the fact that they understand that when when Nkusua Congo, that the world wants to call Jesus Christ, comes back, this is going to become a fulfilled scripture. And it's not just them; it's also other nations. They know that they, they they've convinced them. You know, they've gone around and say, "Look, if these people come home." If these people are known, known, this is one of the reasons why Islam became so rampant in Africa after it was created in uh, 500 AD, because it was another attempt. Because they knew that it, they could, they knew who they, they knew we knew who they were coming into Africa, that they wouldn't be successful. So it was another attempt to try to stop the, the, the possibility of the arrival of the Messiah. This is exactly why it was necessary for Rome, the, the Church of Laodicea, which they infiltrated, okay, to teach a false doctrine so that um, people would not understand. And I'll get into that too. Uh, why they're called lukewarm is because of this right here. It's because of what these people did as converts in the first century. They were never born. They're, and as a matter of fact, they might have been even there before somewhat. They weren't as much, they were a smaller portion because it goes into the Jewish diaspora. You know, it talks about um, their history as the Hellen, let's go to see, it says right here, Hellenistic Judaism. Well, Hellenistic is all 100% worship of Hellenistic gods. That's why they call it Hellenism now, even in Hollywood and America. That's why they're bringing about worship of other gods. Because they were, uh, these were the Hittites that became a part of the Roman, the, the Greek society when they took over, which at that time was actually dark skinned Greeks, because they were there too. They were dark skinned Greeks. Okay, they hide this, a lot of this history. There was dark skinned Romans. Okay, um, the, the, our people knew who we were interacting with. They have the Byzantine Jews, and a lot of these Byzantine Jews actually were dark skinned people. They were not white. They were not white. Okay. If you do a lot of history research, you'll go and look at it. You'll know that there was an intentional act to erase Jacob from the earth. And this has happened being done as the prophecy that was given to Esau by his brother, his father, uh, Msaka, that he said when he would, uh, he would be under his brother, which he was, okay, when we were, when Yusolade was created, 
Esau was under our control. We were powerful, but you know, he tricked us into deceit, worshiping Baal and other things. That's why he said we've always been worshiping Baal and, and all these other gods, and we got messed up. And so in that process, he became uh, over us as he infiltrated through these people, okay? So he used his lineage spirit-wise to overcome his brother, which is now the case that's happening in the world. That's why there's a scripture that says, the end of the age of Esau and the beginning of Jacob. So from 70 AD on was the intention that Esau would now change history to not let people know who Jacob was because what would happen is exactly what this scripture says. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan would say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. And now this is why you get the situation where you got Protestants in them uh, who came about through the process of learning the lies that were being perpetuated in the Roman Catholic Church, seeing them as a wicked kingdom, twisting things, although they themselves were already tainted, okay, because this is how Satan plays the game, um, not realizing that they had still failed to do the... the um, their obligation was to was to bring the 12 tribes home. So I'm going to explain something to you, um, Pastor. And uh, this is something that uh, was demonstrated to Simon Toko. The number nine is adding up all the eight kingdoms that would come upon the earth, which included America being the last one, USA. And it makes the number 36. Okay. When you put 33 and 6 together, in the spiritual world, you because this is what they do in spirituality, they add numbers together, they do a lot of number manipulation. Nine, and you hear 9-11 all the time, nine is the number for the new Jerusalem. Okay? Eleven is the 11 tribes the Messiah separated from because of their disobedience, but not Judah. So the intention of these people right here Okay, that he's talking about is to destroy 9-11. So he, th that means do not let, so they, they created their version of a new Jerusalem here in America. They actually said, well, no, new Jerusalem is now back in Israel. All this different stuff that they did to manipulate where you think new Jerusalem will be. Because Satan did not want people to know the truth. Okay, because the bottom line is when Jacob comes home, he judges all the nations. That's biblical. It's in the Old Testament. You can look it up in Hosea. He also in uh, uh, Sola actually said it too, when he says you will judge angels, uh, Pola. And also the fact that the Messiah said this, behold, when the time comes, you will the synagogue of Satan will be brought before your feet to show you that I love thee. So what he's trying to show you is he loves the Bantu people. That's you, Solele. He loves the Mukongos. He loves the Bakongo people. We don't love ourselves because we've been taught to hate ourselves from these people. Because they hate us. And this is a proven fact. They know, even in Hollywood, you see how they get treated out there. Um, you know, people talk about it in the music industry, um, the Freemasonry, all this stuff. The Freemasons come out and say they, they get the Black Freemasons, they know that these people do not like them. OK, they know that in various places, you know, they but they always make themselves look like, OK, so now you're saying, well, you're being anti-Semitic. No, the point is, I cannot hate myself because I am actually Jacob. These people are imposters. The reason why he even says so. OK, he's saying these people are imposters. The real truth about World War Three, too, is they were trying to get to kill this man. Let me tell you, the fallen angels were trying to kill this man, and they thought that he was among, okay? They thought that this man, this is the man of Charlotte, Revelations 12. They thought that he, the Most High, put him, okay, with these guys in Germany. They thought he got, the, the Charlotte, Revelations 12 came to them. So the, the fallen angels told Hitler, we need to wipe these people out. And it was the high top rabbis. They already knew the agenda. They they knew. They killed the people who were lower. 
but they had to make it look like it was Hitler that did it when he didn't want to do it. I'll even look, I'll tell you, um, I'll show you the, 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 the mission. This is what Hitler wanted to do. Okay, it's called the Jewish Madagascar Plan. It says the Madagascar Plan was a proposal by the Nazi German government to forcibly relocate the Jewish people of Europe to the island of Madagascar. Franz Rademacher, head of the Jewish Department of German Foreign Office, proposed the idea in June 1940. Now, why didn't they do it? Because the, the fallen angels came and said, no, we need to kill them. Uh, it's Pastor Mello. There's something. Let's go to this. That's our brothers. We need to kill this man. We're looking for this man. They didn't know where he was. The Most High hit him. They didn't know where he was. This is the child of Revelation 12. They knew he was, he was going to be Jewish, of some kind of Jew. Okay? But they didn't realize he sent unto the Jews by blood, not the Jews by, by tradition. That's why they couldn't find him. So they wiped out all these people in uh, Germany saying, no, we're going to find these guys. We, we need to stop this from happening because this guy here is gonna, was going to bring back the bring the diaspora back to flourishing. This is when the dragon says, I'm a, he's going to chase this child and try to get him, but he's taken up to the throne, meaning that the Most High made him invincible. They couldn't stop him. He even said it, you can't kill me. I'll never die. And he's now actually come out into different people, including myself and others. This is why they, this is why when his story started to come out, they, they the Kabbalah, these people, they started to freak out. Let me get to it. They started to freak out. They're like, oh no, we can't let this happen. These people try to kill this man several times. They couldn't do it once they realized where he was, who he was. They also did the same thing to this man. Simon Kimbongo, they, they knew, see, this is what I'm trying to tell you. So now, in Christianity, you have been meant to believe, first and foremost, that the church is the bride. The Gentiles are the brides above the Jews. This is one of the mindsets that was taught by the fallen angels because of the fact that they didn't want this. They did not want this. Behold, I will make them. So they infiltrated all the different levels of Christianity to start twisting the doctrines early on because they knew, and it wasn't just white people, it was black people too, because we had people who were against the Messiah as well. We just got treated, you know, it was, it was a conspiracy against our own people and against others as well. And it still continues even to this day. It happened when we got kicked out and got sent out of Africa. People want to say too often that Rome came and, and, uh, and colonized Africa and changed their religion when, like Masa pointed out, no, the Bantus, we had a fight because we wanted to be more like other nations. We, want, we didn't want to continue to obey the law and statutes and commandments. So the most I kicked us out and he used the Belgians. The Belgians were the process that started that. Okay. And they brought Roman Catholicism with them which we now know that is the false Messiah when we already had the real Messiah. This is, uh, uh, this was, uh, this is what we called Jesus Christ. Of course, now they try to hide it. Uh, let me go, let's, let's do it. Let me get this image up. It's, it's just this is and then this is what Rome did. They put it in Nairobi. So let's go Nairobi. Kenya. Black. All right. So this image right here is the most historically accurate that they know of. People can debate it if they want to, but they know that this is him. This is they always know what he looked like. They always did. They gave you a false image because they didn't want the Bantu people to do this. They didn't want us to realize it so that we'll come to our, our knowledge of ourselves. So this is why it was important through slavery and other different ways to, because identity is key. 
you teach one group of people a false identity by telling them there's something that they're not, okay? Then you, uh, then you remove the identity of the other group by telling them there's something, by removing what they are and making them something else, okay? To stop this, they do not want to come and worship at the feet of the Bantus, of the, Bacon, of the Mukongos. They do not want to come and worship the feet of, of black people, okay? Because they know for a fact, they know, they've even, they put it in your face all the time. They know the real image of the Messiah. They know the real image of the Most Host High, but they hate him. Their God is Lucifer. So the, the devil wants to make sure that they understand that these people, and I'll prove it to you right here. This is called the Kabbalah. This is black, this is Jewish magic. This is illegal, okay? Kabbalah or Hebrew literally reception, tradition, or correspondence is an esoteric method, discipline, and school of thought in Jewish mysticism. A traditional Kabbalah in Judaism called a Mekubah. The definition of Kabbalah varies according to the tradition of aims of those following it from the religious origins to integral part of Judaism to its later adaptation in Western Esther's Historicism, Christian Kabbalah and Hermetic Kabbalah. Ju Christian Kabbalah and Hermetic Kabbalah. This is witchcraft in the church. This is what we're talking about when we say, are you spiritist or are you spiritual? Okay, this, this is all intended, all important purpose to deceive the Gentiles in order to keep you from bringing, doing what you were supposed to do to bring Jacob home which is what the Messiah told Kepa to do, Peter. This is why you got all the name changes and everything that took place. There was no reason to change the names. No reason whatsoever. So why did they do that? There was really no reason to change the names. So there was, they, they had to change the names for a reason. Okay? Because the point was they didn't want to risk the, our people, the, the, the Mukongos, seeing our names, because we had the names. We had the Yah in our name. Yahweh, all that stuff. People try to say, oh, they taught it to us. No. We taught it to them. The Bantu, the Bakongos, the Mukongos taught them their history. So they, see how they flipped it? We taught them, but they can't let the Lural know that. Because if they know that, then this happens. And this is exactly why now, you know, now that we know, now that people are waking up, this is your World War III. Because they tried to do several world wars. They were all judgments of the Most High accordingly. But the intention was in the process to destroy Jacob too. So now the Most High is going to bring this judgment but this, they're now starting to fight the lamb. They're starting to fight this version of the Messiah. Not this version. This is not even a real version. This was, a, this was intended to keep us away from our power so that you would not... See, the problem is everybody knows this e image of Jesus, right? Everybody knows it. Everybody accepts this image. Okay, so then why can't you walk on water? Why can't you make the, the blind see, the lame sick, uh, the lame walk, the blind see, the deaf hear with this image? Why? You say you have the Holy Spirit with this image. So where's your power? Why doesn't this version of Jesus allow you to do what the Bible says? Shouldn't you be able to do the things that he did and even more, just like he said, when you believe in me? Why don't you? Because this is their, this is their, hold on. When they infiltrated Christianity, hold on. When they infiltrated Christianity, they gave you this image. Why? Because when we went into captivity for the last time, they did not want us 
to reconnect with our power that we actually already had. Because we were already beginning to reunify even, you know, it took us a while, but we were starting to unify, but we then we started falling apart again. Because you know how it is with Black people, we can't always seem to get along. You know, this is our history. Until now, the Most High said, now I'm going to force the issue. They're going to know who you are. They're going to know who my people are. And I'm going to do this. Well, guess what? They're trying to stop this. They do not want to come and worship and serve at the feet of Black people. Specifically, and it's not just it's not just them. It's other Black people, too, who are not. Like the Moors, uh, Canaan, Hamites. You know, they have even convinced the, the Chinese and the Japanese, all these other people, hey, if these people come home, you got to serve them too. This is their this is their big thing. They tell us they tell it to the to the white people that live in America, all this stuff. If if you let these black people know who they are, you'll be serving them. That's the whole purpose of the Freemasons and the secret societies. That's what they're doing. This is why you live in this world where everybody's like, what? What kind of world, you know, you've been engineered to do what you're told to do, follow a system that goes along. Now, people want to say, well, Jesus came for everybody. All that. I said, that's what you don't understand. The most high, let's go to John 24. This is why they do not emphasize this scripture right here. If you don't understand what this scripture means, this is why you, this is, this is the reason why you can't, this is why you don't get your power. You say you have power, but you don't, you can't demonstrate it. So you sit there and say, well, I'm not perfect. I'm this and that, you know, and they teach you, oh, you're a low level, you know, whatever. I've heard pastors say that. Okay. This is why you can believe you can do whatever you can say you can do, but then you go and try to do it, but I can't do it. Go try and make a fig tree not grow like he did. Go try and, uh, uh, like, like, like Master always said, go try and really heal somebody. Go try and really do these different things. Like I said, the conversation between you and the Most High, as I'm now learning, it should be in, almost instantaneous when you have the right connection. That's why I'm really trying to get into the language more because it does help. It does, do, it does a lot. Okay. So here we go. He says it right here. It says, Jesus said unto her, woman, believe me, their hour cometh when you shall neither on this mountain nor in our, yet at Salama. And this is the thing that kind of people have been deceived by. He didn't kick the Bantu people out of Israel. He destroyed Jerusalem where his temple, where his house was because he's like, you guys are wicked and disperse you from there. This is why the word Angola, which has now been stolen by the Ashkenazi Jews, means dispersed ones or, or diaspora, the Golan Heights. So they're trying to show you under, in the deception that the country, and they, have, they know this, they have a lot of, this is why the manna flows in Angola. The, the Most High knows where his holy land is. Okay, when the Mon and Semi came back down with, with Simon Toko in 1949, in, in the 1940s, this is why the world could not know who this man was because it exposes everything that they thought was true. When you, when you see a man that can do what the Messiah can do, you're going to either think one or two things. He's demon-possessed, just like the Messiah, or he's Messiah, or he's, he's like Messiah, or he's Jesus. Okay. But the Most High said, no, if you, if he was demonstrating what the scripture means. If you are like Messiah, you will do like Messiah does and more. And so he was doing that. As Simon Toko and so, so was Simon Kambang. The Most High was demonstrating what that scripture really means. But the problem was he was black. So how come the white people can't do it? That was the issue. So they like, no, the cabal's like, no, this destroys the narrative completely of what we've been trying to deal with this image. This image, this man is doing, let's, let's, let, me, let me get a better picture of him. 
This man, these three people, this is Simone, Simone Kimbangu, Simone Party, and, and Simone Toko. These three men are doing what he said you should be able to do. Okay? They, are, they taught this scripture right here. Salvation is through the, the Jews, which was either the Yehudi, which is the Bantu people. Oh, sorry. Through this, the, the people that look like this. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't always include the Hamites because it has to be through the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which is what these guys are. And they were showing the Bantu people the Most High is trying to wake you up to this, like Temple Vita when when she when the when they came and said Jesus, hey, we know who he is, but he wasn't white. That's why they tried to, to kill her. Anybody that knows the truth, they try to kill. Okay, so when you go to tell people things, they're like, "Well, that can't be right. This is him." You see? Oh, we're the or they said, "Wait a minute, I come from these people." Hold on. These are the real Jews. This is my ancestry. Yeah, this ancestry is false. These people made this up. They made that's why he called, that's why he says it in Revelation. Let's go back. But yet you go to your churches every Sunday. Let's bless the Jews. Let's bless the either Messianic or whatever you want to call them. And he's telling you. And three. And nine, behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come and worship before thy feet. They don't want to do that. So what did they do? They, it's called soil the bride. Soil the bride means do everything possible. Everything possible to take advantage of the fact that Jacob could not agree with his inheritance and was cast out by the Most High. That we didn't re realize, come to the realization of who we are still, and that created the conflicts of our kingdoms. Okay, because we, like Masa said, we didn't want to always deal with the secrets of the Most High. You know, we we wanted to be like the other nations again, and we denied Kuswa. Jesus Christ, Messiah Congo, for the Roman Jesus Christ. And we were, at that point, we lost a lot of our power. Now, and to that, to the Most High, that was the golden calf. Okay? Most Christians don't even know this because of what was taught, what was manipulated because of those who do not want to worship at your feet. So they changed history. So they changed the, who who's on top. They changed the way things were done. They they did a lot of different. Excuse me, manipulated. They 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 control how you get educated. Then they take the abilities of Jacob, which are very very strong abilities, and use them to their advantage. You became a money commodity, even as they were stealing the wealth of the Most High during slavery. Okay, stealing the wealth of Africa was never is never ending. Just like it says in scripture, his wealth is never ending. The, the Sol, they even said in the movie they know Solomon's mines are in Congo. They even made they made two movies about. It. They made Solomon's mine and they made the movie Congo. They know where it's at. His wealth, because the Most High blessed him with abundant wealth. They're going to make you think, oh, he flew all the way from Palestine to go be with his riches. No. That's a lie. That's why they don't, they changed all the maps. They got rid of all the history. They burned and, and destroyed the knowledge. Because why? If you know who you are, when they realize who you were, it's like, no, if these people understand the truth, they're going to make us worship at their feet. The Messiah, their Messiah will make us worship at their feet. They know this. Okay, so they, they came up with their Freemasonry, Knights Templar, whatever you want to call it stuff, 
for the sole purpose of teaching this, a false version, or a, a what do you call it, a perversion of the true Tula, which they became the Torah of the Most High. And this is exactly what you deal with when it comes to those who are, in, see here, it's even put it in this picture. It's all Babylonian. This is where it comes from. The God, this, it says right here, sex gods and goddesses of Judaism. So everything that you do that's pagan through them is affiliated with sex. That's why there's so much lust in the world right now because they deal with the demons that interact with it. Because one of the things they know about homosexuality, that they learned this even from Nimrod. If you do that to people, you can control them because it's an embarrassment. You don't want to get, it was embarrassment. It, it was a defilement of the body. And you don't want to tell people, oh, I'll, I've been run up, you know what? You don't want to make that into a big invite because it's, the world did not accept that. And they still don't. Now you've been in, now you've been encouraged to accept it, but they know the problem is if you are a person who's gay, it's easy to manipulate you up here. They know this. They've been knowing this. They've done, you know, even in here, the lady came out with a video. Um, I, I wish I could link it. Where her husband worked with the military. Let's see if I can pull it up and I'll link it because I'm gonna play it. Like any, any, and I make it real quick. I say this: any video that I put up or any material I put up is for the public domain. I don't own the copyrights for any of this. Uh, so let's go. It's called Operation. Let's, let's see if they put it up. Pink Marine. All right. Or oh, they call it Operation Petticoat. Uh, let me see if I can get that lady. Uh. Let's see the lady comes up. Uh. Let's see if you can find. Let's see. Let me do it like this. Okay, so it's Ek Marine Colonel Vike exposes the Illuminati. Let's see, Kay Griggs. So that's her name. Let's go look up Kay Griggs. All right, so this is her video. It's called it says Gay K. Griggs, German Jewish pedophile Henry Kissinger was involved in five gay rapes. Of course, they came out and denied everything. Okay. They said it wasn't true. So this is the full interview. It's seven hours. They actually still have it on here. Now they said they, they uh, censored some of it. But this is the video, Catherine Griggs, okay? She comes out and starts telling you all about this agenda, that they use this whole concept. This is all the secret society stuff they're talking about, okay? This is why a lot of people don't even know, and they've been blinded to how they've been made to worship in their churches, how they've been instructed to learn and teach in the, in, the, in, the, in the Bible schools, how they've been instructed to learn and teach in Christianity, because again, this is to stop this. 
behold, I will make thee. They don't want to worship at your feet. They don't want to do it. So this is not, and I'm telling these guys, they come from the Ukraine. This is why now you're seeing this stirring up between Russia. And this is where, um, let me get my book here. One second, let me pause. I'll be right back. I'm going to show you where he talks about this in the book, Mayamona. I can't, I can't, I can't, I did it last night. It's just one. Second. Okay. So here we go. It says here, this is the time to clarify the word of the Most High, that so-called Banabetu, or at least, you know, you call them Christians, but which is the pure Christians, who are forgetting the coming of Christ are comforted while the world is mocking. It is the world judging that Yapoa, Tatanzami, who, who, who one day makes his responsibility the world from America, who will appoint yet another nation from the world to represent these nations. Not at all. Finish, I tell you, my truth. If one day the United States of America fails, which it already has, this is what they know, the word of Tatanzambi, Yapoa, will break out and all nations will go to war for, against the Lamb, which is what they're doing right now. And the war is called Armageddon, Revelation 16, 13 to 14, 17 to 14. After the American nation, the number eight will become zero or nine, or, or, okay, spiritual mathematics, okay, is um it says one plus three two plus three plus four you know, it goes all the way it gets thirty six adding three and six you get nine taking the nine to subtract is equal to zero. That's the this is the great reset, okay. Now if there will be no representatives of Yapor the most part represent all nations who can then take here the place answer. However, the number of the children of Yisolele will be like the area of the sea, which cannot be measured or counted. Will happen that in the place where it's said to them. You are not my people, he will say to them, you are now the children of the Tatanzami, which is not, he said this in Congo. This is, they know this. And the children of Yunde and children of Yusuf will gather together and will make themselves one, only head, and they rise up from the earth, for the day of just real will be great. Hosea 10 and 11. Now, one of the things I was trying to find a part where he says this war is going to be started by unjust people. Um, I was trying to find that one where he said many, many to kill I was trying to find the page. Um, but he was saying that the war, and as you can see right now, the unjust people he's talking about are these people. The one, these, these guys. Okay. They don't want to serve at your feet. Period. They do not want this. So they're going to do everything to stop this idea that this guy was who he is, the most high, the, the zombie son. They want to keep it to where you think it's, it's they, they don't want you to know anything about these people have the truth. A lot of these first gener first century churches, this is why if you go to the Coptic church churches, they're all their pictures of the Messiah and the disciples were black. There was no white ones. But they try to claim that, oh, they, they tell people, oh, they just claim that because it was in Africa. No. Why would you change the color of the Messiah just because you live in Africa just to help people feel comfortable? I've heard that excuse from other people myself. That doesn't even make sense if the church is so old to change their paintings. Oh, they were white, now they're black. That, that doesn't even make sense. They know what they, this is why the Palestinians keep saying, you are not the people. And they keep fighting because we know, they said, we know who the real Yusolele, who the real Jews are, and you're not them. That's why they keep saying, oh, you're, you're trying to kick us out. The, they're trying to kick us out of history. They're trying to do this. Trying, no, you're pretending to be somebody you're not. Just the, the Messiah said the same thing. You're pretending to be somebody you are not. Now, of course, people will take this and say, oh, well, these are the Jews who rejected Christ. That's why he called them the synagogue of Satan. It's more than that. Yes, there were those who are included in this. Okay? But you also have the converts, the Khazarians, who are descendants of Japheth. Okay? You want to, let's, let's look it up. Same people. Khazaria.
Okay, look where it's located. In the same region where you now have, look, look, they even marked it for you. Hello, look where the Star of David is. The Khazar Kingdom of the early 10th century. Byzantine Empire is right here, Hungary with Constantinople. Okay. You know, and this is the issue that, you know, the people, want, they, they don't want to hear this, but the point is, you can't continue to pray for somebody and bless them as the most highest people. You can pray for them to, for repentance that they'll come from this lie so the world would be at peace for a change, but that's not going to happen. The most high knows these people are not going to give up their authority that they've put under control of you. This is why you have no true power when you claim to be a Christian. Why you can't do the things that most high said because you don't even realize, okay? This is where you get the word Bible from, Biblios. That was the name of Nimrod, Halios Biblios, to the Romans. Again, a lot of this stuff could be wrong because historically they've changed many things. Like I said, Hitler never wanted to kill the Jews. They wanted to kill Simon Toko. And he even talked about that. They wanted to stop this guy and the, all the others that were demonstrating the power of the Most High and revealing truths to get this image out of your head. That's one of the reasons why they didn't want but see, if you do that, then you can't control people because it was all about control of Africa, not about saving Africa. That's the lie. They act like they're saving Africa. This is why you have demons still attached to you and you don't even know why and why you can't cast them out. Satan can't cast out Satan. Period. You have to separate from the harlot to be able to cast out demons or else they're going to come back and destroy your life. Okay. So a lot of people don't understand this lady already this, this lady, I'm gonna watch this video. I've never seen it. But she's doing a seven hour interview. I'm gonna come back and do a video on this of the stuff she says. And I can guarantee you it'll back up. Of course, they're gonna say that she's a liar. Why are they gonna say that? Because this is the way the system tells you the truth without actually admitting it. This is the type of stuff they, they do this stuff all the time. They'll go back and somebody will come out and say something. Then they'll say, oh, that's false, or they debunk it or whatever, and say this person isn't true. Okay? Folks, nobody has debunked the church of Jesus Christ in the world. Nobody has debunked it. The, the assembly of Yusuf Christu, we call him Isaiah Congo as well, Isaiah Congo and the moon. Nobody's debunked it. If anything, they're trying to hide it more and more by calling the people who are talking about it false prophets. They're trying to say, oh, well, Toko was a, 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 was a, was a wizard. Who do you, why do you think they're telling you this? Because the problem is they don't want to do this, period. This is why even now in the transition, we're supposed to be going back to the Congo. They have infiltrated even that church to try to stop them from getting to the next level. And Toko even talked about it, that he knew there were going to be people coming after the church. The Catholic church tried to absorb this church and they said no. So they made their life a living hell. And so you're going to tell me these are, these are people that have worshiped the most high? They wouldn't do it. They're like, no, we know who you represent. He even, Toko even says, even before I even knew that, I mean, he said it long before me, but I found it even before he did, Nimrod had infiltrated everything. He is the false messiah from the beginning of the world. Through the spirit of Cain, who was the first, first messiah, false messiah. <clears throat> because the point is, the fallen angels don't want to be judged by Bantus, which is who's going to judge them. And the, and, the, and the people who call themselves Jews don't want to worship at your feet, nor have they, and they've convinced the other nations they don't want it, they shouldn't want to do the same. So they've made so many lies about black people, specifically Bantus, because even in the even in the world of Africa, people get they they try to 
to separate themselves even from the Banabetu. And I've seen that. They get offended when you call them Bantus. Okay? And they've made us hate, they've even made us hate ourselves. This is why we want to be more like the images that they show us when you even see what's happening with people who have a uh, want to be white, they want to have straight hair, they want to be lighting their skin up, they want all these different things. That's called making you hate your identity. Why? Because it's soiling the bride. It's causing, this is why you get, you know, people, they, they have a, such a negative image about black people. Why do you think they put that out there? The stereotypes. Where do you think that comes from? Because they want the world to hate you like they hate you. The, the fallen angels who work with these people, they know what they're doing. This is why they now just came up with a false messiah. It's, it's ridiculous. And I'm saying, you know, Jeremiah 16 is going to happen. And this is the key to it right here. I'm telling you, you know, this is why black people in America are suffering because they, they don't know what they're worshiping, for one. And two, especially in Africa and South America and Asia, you don't realize that you're persecuting the wrong people. And you're praying for the right, you're, you're, and, you're, and you're trying to bless the wrong people. So the Most High's wrath is coming upon the nations because you don't know who you're mistreating versus the fact that you don't even know who you're blessing. But see, a lot of people understand that they've done good things for certain black people, and then, then they realize, oh, wow, I got blessings. What happened? Well, I did something good. They don't even realize it's because you fulfilled what the true blessing says. You blessed Jacob. You blessed Abra Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and, and Zachar's line. You just thought, oh, I was being nice to people. I was giving donations. This is how they manipulate it. That's why he says, my wrath is upon those who have held the truth. And I'm telling you, it's gonna it's, now his full wrath is coming because he's gonna force the issue. Because now they're trying to now what's happening? The news is gonna tell you we're trying to avoid nuclear war, when in reality they're trying to start nuclear war because they don't want us to go home. This is why the Mosai says you will be. He said this is time for the terrorists to go, but they're gonna do it through deception because they want to destroy you who are chosen. OK, and this is why the nations are going to get mad, because they're going to go through all of this stuff when there are those who are also black people who already know this that won't tell the truth because they don't want to risk it. As a people. They know what they're doing. They know the truth. OK. So what I'm trying to show people is, is that if you want to know why it's so hard that to convince your brothers and sisters of who they are. It's because of this. They have been taught falsely by those who hate them, who don't want them to know the truth, and continue to manipulate what they believe, all because of the fact that we rejected our real Messiah and the Most High. He sent them. That's why you got to quit blaming them. That's the return. That's how you're going to get the power back is to recognize that's the repentance you need to do. He said, all these people all in these churches repenting, they're repenting to what? Not me. They're, they're, they're pagans. They're not, re they're not reject, they're not calling for repentance of doing pagan, pagan worship. He said, this, is, this organization brought you all of your pagan holidays through Christianity. And they know it. They control all the Bible colleges. They control all of the universities. They control all of the NFL, all of the entertainment, all of this stuff. The banking system. They want Jacob in debt. So he signs contracts that he can't get out of. This is why they don't lend to certain Black people. Will they ever say it to your face? No. Will they ever admit it on publicly? No, but the Most High is going to reveal it. It's coming out more and more. Why do you think we're telling you this? We, I don't. I'm not. I'm not bashing anybody. I'm just stating the facts that these people lied. 
They don't even dance the way he showed us how to dance. They don't even uh, worship the proper way. Their, their holidays and feast days are off. They follow the wrong calendar. They made the version of a false calendar. The word Gregory, if you look it up, comes from the watchers. The watchers were the fallen angels. It's their calendar. This is why you they, they, we we don't we they claim we have a northern hemisphere. We don't. That's Satan's signs and wonders. So that we would lose ourselves and curse ourselves against what the most size creation really is. The concept that we're going out of space when they can't get past the firmament without the without the stargate. They know this. The Malekis access stargates to go back and forth. Choo, 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 choo. They know that. Nimrod had access to one. He tried to go kill the Most High. He got tore up. Okay. So I wanted to release this video because the Most High said it's time for us to really understand. It's over. They're going to start this war. Because the bottom line is they don't they're gonna find a way, just like what happened with Vietnam. It's gonna be an incident. They're gonna do something to caught to trigger it because this is what they do. They manipulate both sides to get it to go down because they don't want the nations to realize who we are. We, they want to blow us up before it happens. Now that we're waking up, oh no, this ain't working. These rabbis are like, no, nah, brother, we gotta get rid of them. Get, get ready to go to your bunkers. Yes. They control the military. They control everything. They claim that they don't because they're not going to tell you they do. But they work behind the scenes. Hey, if you think I'm lying to you, let's look it up. Uh, let's see. They have the picture that shows. There you go. Boom. There you go. Right there. And then what's your buddy? Does it think? Do you think Trump is on your side? Let's go. Let's get the other. Let's get the one with old buddy boy, your boy Trump. Let's go with Sanhedrin. Cause they made this coin for him. Uh, let's see, there you go. People, this leaf comes, this right here comes from Greece. Remember I told you they were part of the Hellenistic Jews? <sighs> Y'all don't even know you're worshiping dead gods. I told you this. This is why you can't, you can, you can, you can do their mysticism will allow you to see certain things. This is why they don't want you to know certain things. Here you go. You pray, these people just elected a false a, a messiah. Right here. They just created a messiah. They said, oh, the messiah is here. Really? This is the people you're blessing. And me, the vast majority of them are only connected to Shem through Esau. They may have mixed a few times with Jacob. The one dude even said, <laughs> oh, we're here in Israel. Esau and Jacob back together again. False prophecies. The Most High said the end of the age is Esau and the beginning is Jacob. There's no coming back together. He's ending Esau. So if they're telling you that, it's a lie. 
they hid that from you for that very reason why they don't why they made that book of second Ezra banned from those who really, know, really want to read it. The most high made it to where it comes out now because everything's being exposed. They can put it in your face now and you don't even pay attention. They got the they got the obelisk in Washington, DC that represents Satan, and you like, whoa, whoop de doop de doo. Cool. Oh, he's talking bad about our monument. You'll defend it. That's the right. That's how they got you up here. Black people, white people, Mexican, Hispanic, whatever. Oh, you're talking bad about America. Okay. I'm going to tell you right now, the Most High does not bless this nation the way you think. Your power has been, the power has been removed. That's, that's, that's the Democrats' fault. No. They work together. They're not separated. That's a lie. They work for these people, both sides. Same people. I just showed you. Ed, why do you think every president got to go to the Sanhedrin? The Sanhedrin, they always brag about, we killed your Messiah. We killed your Messiah. People, I'm telling you, okay? This right here is going to get you killed if you continue to follow stuff that's not true. And don't think they didn't infiltrate the Hebrew Israelites because the Hebrew Israelites learned this stuff from the Messianic Jews. Okay? We are the Yahudi. We are the, we, I, I, am, I am mixed with Esau, but I'm also Yakuba. I already know this. The most High, the, the Moana sent me, when you have the true revelation, will show you who, where you come from, all the way back. The Most High has shown me what these people have done to him. That's why his, his anger is going to be kept. They even put it in the movies, what they have caused to happen to you, Gentiles. They already know the Most High is going to tear your behind up. And they brought you straight to it because uh, as far as they're concerned, you're nothing but sheep. You're going in. You don't care. Then go in, go in, as they say in Bantu, Kikongo. Lingala. In your mind, you're useless to them. They even said, the rabbi said, he even told you what you did to your children with the meat. I was like, and he even said, we tell you this and you don't even believe us. He said that. You know, y'all got to understand something. They, these people are not going to tell you the truth in the, in the open because Satan won't let them. But they will tell you, they will go behind closed doors and say it. Because I'll tell you right now, the dragon's days are done. And this is going to be, he's going to try to start this war before they come get him. I don't know. We're at war right now. We're at war. About to people. This is why the, the, you know, I was laughing because they used an example. They said COVID was causing the shutdown of the embassy in Washington, D.C. I had to laugh. I said, okay, so all the embassies, <laughs> but you, you call it the Kinshasa, I mean, in Brazzaville, and the lady answered the phone. What, what's up with that? And they open more days than the, than the Congolese. They already know because they know where the, the kingdom of the Most High is. It's in their land. They don't want to tell you that. These people are running there right now trying to claim it. Now that they're realizing that we know. Now they're trying to go run and claim it. Oh, no, this is our land. What? How can you be Palestine and Congo at the same time? Something is wrong with this picture. Oh, no, we really were Congo. See, people, they, and, they, and they're making you look silly because you don't know, who, you don't pay attention. You don't know who you are. You've, you've prayed the way you've been taught by, in Christianity, but not the way the most high expects you to pray. Like a little child where you don't know, have any knowledge. You pray already filled with knowledge. So there's no room for him to teach you anymore. You're puffed up with knowledge. You think you know things. He's like, so what can I teach you? If you already come to me like you have all the answers, then what are you asking me for? That's a lot of us. You already, you, you think you know everything. Why are you asking me? He told me that too. He said, you always thought you know everything. Why are you asking me? You can't, that's what he said. You gotta ask, you gotta come in like a little child. You don't have no, 
people walk around, you can see, you can tell the people, they walk around like they think they got it all figured out on every level. And they got other people looking at you like, <laughs> we suckered you. But the most I said, yeah, they suckered you, but I got you last. You're going to get yours. I know what I did. I did the, the strong delusion. I did. That's why I said these people, are gonna you're going to find out they manipulated everything to get you to destroy us so that they won't have to worship at our feet. And they failed. They're going to fail. They fail. They're failing right now. The most high can stop it. Nimrod tried to stop Ab Abana, Abraham. He failed. The most high can do things that people don't even comprehend. They're going to be shocked. Nimrod was shocked. How he up? What? He's in the he's in the fire walking around. How does that happen? You're going to see some stuff. They're going to be like, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. How do they do that? How did he do this? The most high. Yahweh. Tatanzambi. Yapoa. So Nini Nanini. He can do things that they never comprehend. Look what happened in, in, in common. They think they learn by now. You think we learn by now? Who we really are. We got power. We can call the fire down if we have the morning semi. We can do all this stuff. That's why you have to be very careful who gets the spirit, because you can't really kill people with it. With her. I say her if it's a him. You know, I know, uh, what's his name? Uh, Philip said it was a completion when you have both the most high and the mother semi, you got mother, mother, father, you know, it's, it's going on. Say him, you know, it's the bottom line is it, it goes, the problem is, the false messiah's mother pretends to be the Holy Spirit. You just don't know that because that is the harlot. She is a she is a sorceress to manipulate your mind, control. That's what they were trying to tell you when they made that cartoon or the what you call it comic, the shadow, the ability to control men's minds. Yeah, that's what they do. They have the ability to control men's minds that they learned from Nimrod, because that's what he did. That they learned from Lucifer. Create the biggest illusion possible. Create the biggest. They manipulate the Muslims. The Muslims think they hate man. They bomb all both sides, all on the same side. They just make this stuff up and manipulate you. They create the, the these wars so they hide their true agenda. As they're trying to get to Jacob. They're trying to kill Jacob. But they're going to tell you they're Jacob. Anyway. All right, I wanted to bring this message because the most I felt it was pertinent to help us control as a people. Um, you saw the lay Bantu people understand. These nations are coming to worship and bring you at, to your to thy feet. All of you speaking Bantu languages, um, you know, you are the chosen people. They know that. That's why they're trying to stop this, and that's what's going to cause the Third World War. They want to try to stop it. They don't want to see you come home. So they're going, to, they're going to pretend to the world like they're trying to stop it, when all along, it was the Most High trying to stop it, really. It was not It was the Malikis of the Most High that was trying to stop it. They've been trying to bring it all this time to stop us. But the Malikis of the Most High are the ones who are coming in and saying, oh, no, 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 no. Y'all can't do that yet. The Moana is saying, oh, no, 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 you can't do that yet. And they, and they interfere. They run interference. They say, oh, so-and-so shot down this song. No, it's the most high doing that. The so-called aliens. <laughs> you know, they make up all these narratives so you don't understand that they're trying to keep us from being destroyed until, until the most high is ready to destroy and bring. And this is the same scenario that was happening with Noah. They tried to, say, try to destroy the ark, not save it. You kidding me? He wanted the ark destroyed because he knows if, if that ark, if, if, if no one them survived to the most high center protection, he's going to do the same thing. They're going to try to destroy it, just like what happened with Egypt. He rose up a power to stop them. The same thing happened in Babylon. All these things, they try to stop us. They're going to try to do it again. And now they're going to have the, all the military at their disposal. They don't even know who they're really working for. 
And what their role, what their what their what their true mission has always been about is to destroy your Cuba. You saw the lay. 9-11 has always been their, their agenda. Do not let New Jerusalem come back down by the Malikis. Do not let the tribes go home. Don't let them know who they are. Don't let them, don't let them come together. That's why you got the, they got you riding right now over something that was staged. They already know they, they do with these police shootings. They, the Masons sacrificed their own children to help these things happen. Now, I'm not saying this is one of them or Eastern Stars. It could be, but they have to play the role. Because the problem is you have gatekeepers in this society, like the Boule and all these others, that their job is to keep you dumbed down. This is why they kicked Marcus Garvey out of the country. They don't want you going back to Africa. No way. That's your power. You reconnect to the most high. His mountain is there, not in Palestine. They fabricated. I, was, I loved it when Masa showed the video that they made a fake Sea of Galilee and a fake River Jordan long time ago to justify who they are. This is why the Palestinians keep warm with these people because they see what they do. And they're like, you were never here. This is why they had to convince the Jordanese government to change the name of the country. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> oh, people, you're going to find out some truth. They never, that was never Jordan. They changed their name. You're going to have to pray for the most high for that. They changed a lot of names over there. They know who that belonged to. They even, well, we, Assyria, that's why Assyria is even the wrong. They, they claim it. Y'all going to find out a lot of stuff got changed. Seriously. Where they got the name, Assyria comes from a demon's name. From Babylon. That was never the name of the most highs of, of, the, of the, uh, the lineage of Shem. So, all right, so I want to say hallelujah. Kemunayo, betwabu, banabetu, and sambololo. Matonda Masaka Jila for listening. And I pray that Tatanzami will keep you in guide to this time. Understand you are the chosen people. They don't want to worship at your feet, Bantu people. This is why you have so many agents out there that they're manipulating and they're threatening and they're trying to say, okay, uh, you need to mess this up or you need to go in. It's growing. They, they, they threaten people all the time. The governments of Africa, the governments of the America, uh, Russia, Germany, everybody. They infiltrated everything. They, they manipulate all of this because they're above the governments with the fallen angels. They are the secret societies with these fallen angels. But they will never tell you. They will never admit it. Because everything is a secret. This is their secrets. That's why they don't really want you in the synagogue learning stuff. You can speak their language and everything, but there are certain secrets they will not tell you unless you are initiated. But you can be initiated in the most high secrets too. It's it goes both ways. He got secrets too. Which is why they about to find out some things that they ain't never heard of. <laughs> anyway, in Gita, in Sambololo, and uh, in the ways of Kuswa Congo, Kutwala, may Congo reign.